Hi, it's a great day to worship God. So right off the bat, we're going to get started with some game time. Today's game, you need to go get a water bottle. Okay, just a plain ordinary water bottle. And you are going to flip it and see if you can get the water bottle to land standing up. I know most of you have already done this, but your parents, they have no clue what I'm talking about. So we're doing the water bottle flip, okay? The bottle flip. 30 seconds. Are you ready? Let's flip those water bottles. On your mark, get set, go! picking it up. You pick it up. I'm not picking it up. Well, somebody's got to pick it up. I'll pick it up. They're clean. Cuz my Bible's clean. And today, questions for you. They're probably not a surprise. Your Bible is divided into two parts. The Old Testament is near the front. The New Testament is near the back. And Ooh, the Old Testament tells us about Jesus' people way before Jesus was ever here. And then in the New Testament, we learned that God sent his Savior, Jesus, to the land. And so the stories of Jesus walking on this earth are in the New Testament. So today you're going to find your Bible story. You are going to turn to Mark chapter 1. You're right, that's in the New Testament because it's about Jesus today. Turn to Mark chapter 1, find it in your Bible. It's near the back. Matthew, Mark, Luke, John, the Gospels. I'm in Matthew, Mark. Awesome. Mark chapter 1, this story is about Jesus' early miracles. And I have a few friends that are going to help me tell the story. Thank you to the Ports family for helping me tell the story today. Watch this. Jesus traveled to Capernaum with his disciples, Simon, Andrew, James, and John. He went into the synagogue on the Sabbath and began to teach. The people there were very surprised. <gasps> Jesus' teaching was not like the scribes' teaching. He spoke with authority. Just then, a man with an unclean spirit shouted, What do you have to do with us, Jesus of Nazareth? Have you come to destroy us? I know who you are, the Holy One of God. Jesus commanded the spirit to be quiet and come out of the man. The spirit yelled again and then came out. Everyone was amazed. <gasps> who is this Jesus? They asked. He teaches with authority and the unclean spirits obey him. News about Jesus spread very quickly throughout all of Galilee. Next, Jesus and his disciples went to Simon and Andrew's house. Simon's mother-in-law was in bed with a fever. Jesus went to her, took her hand, and healed her. She got up and began to serve them. That evening, large crowds of people came to the house with others who were sick or bothered by evil spirits, and Jesus healed them. Early the next morning, Jesus went out by himself to pray. Simon and the other disciples found him and said, Everyone is looking for you. Jesus said, Let's go on to the nearby villages so I can preach there too. This is why I have come. The next day, Jesus traveled throughout Galilee, 
He preached and drove out demons. A man with a skin disease came to Jesus. He got on his knees and begged, If you are willing, you can make me clean. Jesus was willing, and he healed the man. Jesus is so powerful. He did so many things in our story. He taught people about God. He drove out the demons. He healed the sicknesses. He has limitless power. Lots of power. And he showed his love by meeting people's needs. And he showed his power by offering forgiveness and salvation of eternal life. That's awesome. Um, after watching the story, and you can read it with your family in your Bible, what stuck out to you in our story? Which segment of the story of Jesus' miracles do you like the best? What's your favorite? Turn to the person sitting next to you and share that with them. Awesome. Keep reading. Jesus has lots of miracles in the Bible. But today, we're going to learn a new memory verse for the month. Are you ready? This one's going to be easy. This is probably the most common verse in the Bible. I'm sure you heard it here. You've maybe even heard it at the ballpark. Do you know what it is? Sometimes you see signs that have the chapter and verse and number. It's John 3, 16. John 3, 16. Do you remember it? Today, we're going to watch a video of John 3, 16. Start working on remembering it because I might just ask you to help me with something. You got this, John 3, 16. Watch this. John 3, 16. For God so loved the world. The whole world. Everyone. everyone anyone. That's a lot of people that he gave his one and only son. His only son. That whoever believes in him will not perish, but have eternal life. Wow. One more thing before we head out, we're gonna pray. Bow your head, close your eyes, let's show respect to God. Father, thank you for today, another day. Thank you for loving us. Thank you for protecting us. Thank you for having limitless power that you can heal us, you can forgive us, you can come alongside us and be our friend. Thank you, God, for that. Be with us this week. Help us to let our light shine, to show others love, to show them a smile. Thank you, God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Okay, this week, practice your bottle flipping. Practice that memory verse. Share love with people. You guys